Hey everybody, it's Mike A.K. That Reseller Guy. Back with another video for you today. Today we're talking about mugs. That's what we're talking about and some other stuff. So let's get going. So yeah, sales have been crazy slow here. Uh, the past weekend was really slow. Actually, it might've been my slowest weekend in a long time. Uh, and even these first couple days here of October have not been very stellar either. So I haven't really been talking about sales because there's not a whole lot to talk about. Been crazy slow. I thought start at Q4, we're in October, October, November, December. That's our Q4. Sales should start picking up. Hopefully they do, fingers crossed. But sales are slow, so we're talking about pickups. Hopefully those pickups turns in turn <laughs> hopefully those pickups turn into sales. Wow, I had trouble saying that one. I'm not gonna edit that out. I don't edit these things out. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I went to some thrift stores yesterday and for whatever reason, it was a Starbucks mug kind of day. And I haven't found a, a decent Starbucks mug in a long time. Usually if I do, they have chips or cracks or repairs or something like that, so I don't pick them up. But I got a whole bunch of them over here. You see? Boom. There's a bunch of them here. Uh, so yeah, I went into one store and found two. Then I went to another store and found six of them. So yeah, I found eight mugs total. A bunch of them I think I'm going to take out to my collectibles booth because they're the ones that sell in that $15 to $25 range. There's a lot of them out there on eBay. In sales, there's some, but not tons. You know, I'm pr pretty sure that the market for Starbucks mugs has cooled a little. There was a time where it was super hot. They do still sell, but not quite as much as they used to. So let's go ahead and show you some of the ones that I have. Uh, I actually already had processed, uh, processed, basically taking like the labels off and got labels in there to go out to my booth. So here's the first one. We got Ireland. Yeah, these are the ones that I think you see the most of these different countries. That's what they look like on the bottom. Usually in my stores anyways, they have the mugs upside down. So it's really easy to see that circle. And there are some other companies that do a circle very similar to that, make it sort of look like it's a Starbucks mug. Uh, but yeah, these you can usually spot pretty easily. And the good thing about these, they were all super clean. I honestly don't think any of these had ever been used. So uh, this Ireland one here, again, you see comps all over the place. You see people asking $40, $50, 60 but those are probably people that have had these listed for years and they haven't sold. Because again, most of these, the comps are in that $15 to $25 range. I think there's only one that I have that might be a little bit more. So uh, let's see. So we're going to start with Ireland. I have that marked as $15. There's my, there's my booth sticker. And that's what I think I'm going to put most of these at in my booth is $15. I paid a dollar for most of these. I think the other store, they were $1.99. So we're, the store that I bought six, yeah, they were 99 cents each. A lot of room for profit at 15 bucks. So uh, we're starting with Ireland. Uh, the other one that I found that in that store was this model mug. It's a little different. This is the You Are Here collection. So that's another thing to look out for. This is Alaska. They're a little bit shorter than the other mug. So that's a little bit different there. So yeah, we got this cool Alaska, you got the mountains. It looks like it got a whale tail right there. Same sort of thing, 15 bucks. These sell in that same range. But now the next door, next door was crazy. They were actually, usually when I find Starbucks mugs, it's like when they come just out on the cart and a cart comes out and you see all that fresh merchandise run over there. And uh, yeah, usually they're in there, but these were just sitting on the shelf. Everybody was just walking by them. I don't know. I guess maybe the, the Starbucks mugs aren't a big deal that much anymore. Have you sold any recently? If you, if you have, put down in the comments which one you sold or which one you found or, you know, whatever. Just say hi in the comments. Do something. Anyway, uh, we had one more of these You Are Here collections, and this is the uh, Pike Place Market. Yeah, that one there. I haven't priced these. You can see, oh, see, look, I can prove I got them for 99 cents. Sticker still on there, 99 cents right there, yeah. Uh, they just came out that day because you can see the date on the label as well. I'm pretty sure that's 9-3. I don't have my glasses on, but I'm pretty sure that says 9-3, which was yesterday. I'm making this on 9-4 today. Uh, so yeah, that one, same price range. Uh, the one here, I'm going to show you the one that, ooh, yeah, I don't want to break any of them. This one here was actually, I think, worth the most, but there's no current sold comp. So you had to go into like Terapeak and look to see historically how many out there. I know I'm going to pronounce some of these cities improperly, but that's what I like to do. So we got uh, Katowice. Yeah, I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it at all, but they're Kato Weiss. I don't even know where that is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that's what it looks like on the front. That's what it looks like on the back, still with our 99 cent sticker. Same bottom and everything. This one's all orange in the middle. Let's look it up. Where is this? I'm sure some of you probably knew. I'm going to guess. At least one of you knew where this was, but it's in Poland. That's what, at least that's what Google told me, so... 
Uh, I'm sure I pronounced that way incorrectly, but yeah, the current sales comps, I'll throw some of these up on the screen. I think people are asking like $40, $50 for this mug. I haven't actually even gone into Terapeak yet to uh, to do the research to see if it really is selling that high. If it is, I will definitely sell this one on eBay. But uh, but yeah, no sold comps over the last, what did they show you, 90 days in there? And there were only a few available, so it could be a fairly rare mug. Uh, heck, I got nothing else to do. I got no, I only got one order to ship today. So let's go in here and we're gonna check Terapeak and we're gonna see if uh, there's any history. All right, there is some history on these. Uh, four of them have sold, according to Terapeak, uh, $40, $30, $40, and $50. So there are some, some sales comps out there, so this one will definitely get listed over on eBay, probably at that $40 price. I think if I price it at 40, it's kind of in the middle of where all the sales comps were, and I think it'll probably put me at the lowest currently available. So yeah, that's a pretty good pickup for a buck. Uh, the other ones, this one I believe is Germany. I'll say Köln, but it, I'm sure with the umlaut there, it's pronounced a little little differently. Uh, but yeah, this one here, got the nice blue inside. Another cool one there. Uh, we got Leipzig. Is that also Germany? I don't know. I got to look it up now. See, you got me started. I got to look these up. Where... Oops. Where is Leipzig? It is in Germany. Yay, I was right. Okay. So we got that one. Got the nice yellow one. Little picture on the back. There's the bottom. There's some 99 cent stickers. I'm not lying to you. And the last one is Paris. And surprisingly, when I looked it up, I think Paris was the cheapest of the ones that I found selling in that like 15 to $20 range. So we got Paris. I know where that is. That's France. Ha ha. Uh, so yeah, there's that one there. So yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, what did I say? Two, four, six, eight Starbucks mug. I also picked this up as well just because I thought this was really cool. This was an Olympia beer stein. Now you see a lot of steins in these stores and especially you get like the Anheuser-Busch ones or the Avon ones, all those. Uh, and they're not very exciting. They don't sell too well. Uh, but yeah, this one here I thought was cool. There's a lot of solds on eBay for this exact model, but they sell them for like $10. I paid $3.49 for that one. I'll probably put this in my booth for like 12 bucks. I think it's pretty cool. Someone will buy it. Someone, someone that drank Olympia beer back in the day. Uh, so yeah, that was it for my glassware purchases yesterday. I don't like dealing in glassware a whole lot because obviously it can break. Uh, you know, you have to be a little bit more careful when you ship them. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to sell most of these booths other than... Oh, actually, I missed one. I missed one. Chong Queen, that one. There's the back. What's this one? Purple? Yeah, purple. All right, that's all of them now. Yeah, I didn't realize that I that I missed that one. All right, what else did I find? What else did I find this week? So today's gonna just kind of turn into be this little show and tell thrift haul type video. I found another one of these. I found a few of these uh, probably like last year, maybe two years ago. Uh, that's kind of what tipped me off to these. These are actually like a Disney exclusive. You can only buy these at Disneyland at Radiator Springs. That's like the Cars Land there. Uh, and this was a little drink thing. So you got your little straw that you can put in here. Yeah, these sell for like 20 bucks. Uh, I already took the sticker off. I think I paid $1.49 for this one. Put those back in there and screw this top back on. Uh, they make three different versions. I believe there's a red and a blue one as well. So yeah, about $20 for these little Dynaco little drink tumbler uh, collectors. And there's a little Disney Park sticker still on the bottom. So that was pretty cool. I also found this cool vintage Garfield. What reason why he jumped out to me is he still got his old, I think it's Dakin. Is that how, how it's pronounced? I don't know. Let me look at it again. I don't want to be wrong. Yeah, Dakin. So he still got his little blue medallion there and the tags on the back. Pretty cool for a for an old Garfield toy. And it says don't ask on here. Now, I figured that this one came like this. So he looks at, he's got this cast on his leg and he's got band-aids here on his head. But when I looked at all the comps, they didn't have this little ace bandage and the band-aid. So I don't know if somebody custom made this one or if this how it came this is how it came originally. I don't know because I couldn't find any others like this. So I'm gonna list it fairly high because I don't think there were any others out there that had that little uh, Dakin tag on there still. Generally this sells for like, I don't know, $10 or so, maybe 12, but I don't know, I'll put it at like 20, $25. I think it's pretty cool. If there's a Garfield collector out there that wants him with his tags. Uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. It was just a couple of dollars. I mean, plush in most of the stores here. 
uh, is pretty cheap. Uh, unless you get Squishmallows, it's weird. Some of these stores think Squishmallows are gold and they'll price them at $10 and $12 for, for fairly small ones. But, you know, for the most part, most plus you're gonna pay two, three bucks. And of course I found myself a football helmet. How much was this one at the store? This one was marked, whatever that says. Is that $8.49? But it was missing a couple pieces. It's missing like the back padding here. And you can see it's, it's missing there and there's a little Velcro spot that it clips to, but it's still got the ear pads in there and all that. So this is a Shut brand. This is the Recruit Hybrid. It's one of the standard helmets that I find all the time. Uh, this one probably will sell for, even with that missing pad, probably at least $50. I think normally these are like $59.99 or so when I list them in my store. But yeah, this one I'll price a little bit cheaper because it's missing that pad. Someone's gonna have to go out there and find it. But otherwise, this one's in really nice shape. I did sell a bunch of helmets last week. I had one buyer buy three different helmets. That was like $120. And I sold one single helmet for $115. I'll pop that one up here on the screen. Uh, that one I paid, it was marked $25 in the store. And I think people just ignored it because they wanted $25 for a football helmet. But when you know it's a $100 plus helmet, I'll be happy to pay $20 for that. And it sold within a couple of days when I, when I got it and listed it. So uh, that's definitely a model helmet that you need to look out for. All right, next up, this is my fun purchase of, of the day, is a bunch of these. Uh, these are a bunch of Arizona Cardinals. We got these chain medallions here. You can rock this while you're watching your football on Sunday. I am an Arizona Cardinals fan. Now, I cheer for the Buffalo Bills, number one, Cardinals, two. Buffalo Bills, good. Cardinals, bad. So you see where my loyalties are definitely this year, but I think this was pretty cool. These were marked. Does it still have the tag on it? No, it looks like I took the tag off. I think they were like $5.49. They got an SRP of $19.99. So I think I'm going to throw these in my collectibles booth and uh, hopefully some Cardinals fan will buy one of these. Uh, I'll probably put them out there for like 15 bucks. I think these are kind of cool, kind of funny. Uh, Cardinals have been terrible. They've been playing, they've been playing teams pretty tough, but yeah, they're not going to have a lot of wins this year. Right, here's something else that I couldn't pass up. Viking Riches. This is like the top for a casino slot machine. I couldn't think of what it was called there for a second. Uh, it is dated on here, I believe, somewhere. Copyright 2007, Aristocats Technologies Australia. So I thought that was cool. I don't know if this will sell on eBay. I haven't done any research. I still have my price tag on there. Paid uh, $3.49 for it. Uh, so yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. And what else? I gotta have at least one other thing around over here that I haven't showed you yet. Ah, oh, right here. I, this wasn't a thrift find, but this was something that I bought through a, a friend of mine. Uh, I thought these were kind of neat. A bunch of these baseball pens, and they have actual game used dirt. Who doesn't want some game used dirt in them? Yeah, a little ballpoint pen. I paid him two bucks a piece for these, and uh, there's only like five different teams. Uh, not many of the good teams. Uh, so I'll throw those in my collectibles booth. We'll try them there first. I may have to put some of them on, on eBay because there's some that I have like five, six, seven of certain teams. Uh, I think in my booth I'm going to put them for seven fifty, and then on eBay I'll probably try them for like ten bucks plus shipping. Maybe just do fourteen ninety nine free shipping and uh, sell them that way. All right, I think that's going to be it for this video. We'll go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, make this one nice, short, and quick. Uh, hopefully I'll have some sales here. Actually, next week I'm going to be on vacation, so there's not going to be a lot of videos related to reselling. Uh, if you go over and check my Cake Hander Dad Open Stuff channel, I definitely always put some vacation videos on there because we're going to have a lot of fun while we're over in California at Disney. Yes, we're going to Disney again this year, so that'll be a lot of fun. It's going to be a good trip. We're going to leave in just a few days, so I can't wait for that. Uh, but that's it for this video today. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Go check out that other channel for sure. See you next time.